Hello everyone, AT Studios here, and today I'm going to be showing you a problem that lots of people are having with the Steam VR performance test. So let's say you're just running this performance test to see if your PC or laptop is ready for VR. It'll open up this, it's loading, and then it's going to show you a little thing where a robot is being taken apart and put back together just to see if your computer can run it. Now this on laptops especially, has a large problem with integrated graphics. Now, it's loading up now, as soon as it's done, it's going to run the performance test. So let's see, here we go. So here we are, it's basically what it does is it goes through this whole process, and it moves around, it does stuff, and the light moves, and I'm just going to quickly zoom through all of this to the end. Alright, so here we are everyone, we finished the test and now it says my Intel HD 530 doesn't work. But the problem is, I don't have an Intel HD 530, well I do, but I also have a GTX 950M in my laptop, which is a fairly decent laptop graphics card that should be able to do this, it might not, but it should be able to at least be low-end capable for VR. But it's telling it's not ready because it thinks I'm running on Intel HD 530 because there's a latency issue. The GTX 950N isn't connected to the processor and is not directly connected to the screen basically. So it goes through the processor, through the motherboard and then to the screen or the VR which would make the latency a little bit too long and it would cause motion lag and sickness. Of course, because of my high-end processor, I don't think that's supposed to be 3.5. Anyway, I don't think it would be much of a problem, but it is a problem. It would uh, slow down a little tiny bit, and if you don't have a fast enough machine, it would probably cause a bit of motion sickness. There wouldn't be lag, but it would cause a bit, cause a bit of motion sickness. So down here I'm getting frames tested, frames below 90, currently 100%. Okay, I don't believe it, <laughs> to be quite honest. Okay, let's say 89. Anyway, it says I've got a very low quality, but in that video you saw that I was actually running at reasonably high. Now, if you tested this with a GTX 980M, to get the same result. It would say Intel HD 530 because it thinks you're running with your processor's graphics card and the only reason it does this is because it automatically chooses this because your 950M is, in, is, part of, is connected to the motherboard not and it has to go through the motherboard to get to the screen. So it causes a latency issue and can't get to your VR fast enough which means you're going to have problems with lag. That is why the laptops don't work very well with VR, but I'm pretty sure if you had a high end, if you had a 980M and you had a really high end processor and enough RAM, you could probably pull it off. So if you've got a 960, let's say a 970 or a 980M, you'll be 100% fine if you have this processor or something around this and about 8 or more gigabytes of RAM. So if you have about that spec, you should be able to run it with a laptop, but don't quote me on that. I suggest you ask someone else before you go and buy it, thinking that you can suddenly run VR and get it, and it's all my fault. So that's the reason, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit a like, please subscribe. It really helps me and the channel out. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you everyone for watching, and goodbye.